Alright, what's up boys and girls? This year, uh, it's your boy Doc Sidex here, and do a tier list. I don't do no tier list, so I'm gonna rank the, the League of Legends chicks based on my own personal, uh, you know, mantra or whatever. And why or not. Sorry. That's not even fair. Ari's a sexy beast. She seems like she'd be a lot of fun. She doesn't seem like she'd be like the type of person to stick around very long. But either way, I need to smash that. Also, we could have a lot of fun doing some roleplay. She's got outfits. Akali. I don't know. Like, you ever see those the music videos with Akali? Like, Akali doesn't actually, in my opinion, Akali doesn't have a very attractive face, which is probably why she wears the ninja mask. And she's got a nice body, but her tits are kind of small. I'm gonna put her in the A tier. She's attractive, but she's not like, she's not Ari hot. But she's like the next best thing, you know? Like in KDA, she's probably the one that gets like the least amount of hentai. <laughs> Anivia. It's a fucking bird, dude. Where do you even put your shit, you know? Clearly, like, this would be S tier if I knew what to do, but I'm gonna drop that down to there because I'd just be at a loss of how to fuck a bird. Annie. I don't know if that's legal to comment on, so I'm just gonna move on. Ash is weird. Ash seems very plain. And again, she's just, I guess it's just she's a plain character, so I kind of see her. I just think she's plain in general. She's attractive, but like, she just seems like a regular old gal. I'm putting the B tier. Now, Caitlyn's one of these, like, low key, super sexy bitches. Easy S. Camille got no legs, which means she's probably missing some other stuff too. So I'm putting her in the D tier because, you know, I just don't want to get, like, cuts on my hand when I want to go for, like, you know, the two legs spread or whatever kind of position I'm going for that evening. Now, Cassiopeia is an interesting story. It's kind of hot. Like, you know, like a, like in a, she's probably gonna bite you and kill you and after she fucking fucks your mouthpiece, kind of hot. Like, I don't know, there's something sexy to me about a woman who just, like, takes what she wants. I'm gonna put a lot of fucking weird pics in the S tier. I'm a fucking strange person. I'm a fucking really strange person. Alright, Diana. Oof. Like, Diana's low-key sexy, dude. Like, for real. She's like a collie. She's not, like, super hot. But, like, she's, like, hot enough. Like, you know what I mean? Like, she, and she's crazy, too. She's, like, the kind of girl that's, like, to come out your dick. Oof! Elise. Again, see, this is where I'm weird. I'm like, yo, turn into a spider while, you, while I fuck you. You know what I mean? That's S tier. Clearly S tier. You can do all sorts of crazy shit with a girl like that. She can, like, web you up while you're fucking. You can fuck upside down. You could, like... You know, like, those videos where the guys are strapped down in spandex and they're, like, just their dick is out? You know, like, she could just do that to you with, like, fucking spider webs. I think they call that, like, the suffocation. She, she could just fulfill a lot of kinks. And I think she's hot. And, and I, I know she'd kill me afterwards, so it's, like, a win-win situation. Same with Evelyn. Evelyn is just beyond sexy. She's so fucking hot. Like, I love her whole thing. She's just a disgusting lust creature. Fucking hot. Probably chop your fucking head off after you're done. I like Fiora. Fiora seems like a pecker. You know? She seems pretty aggressive. Probably spank you with a ruler or some shit. Or a cricket bat or whatever. Whatever's nearby. Well, at the same time... Eh. Kind of throwing the B tier there with Ash. She's kind of got like that. I don't know. Let's just have some DSL though. A Lally. Just not really my thing, you know. Like I like a nice big, like strong woman, but like not not that big and not that strong. But she's still sexier than the bird in Camille, so we'll throw in C tier. I'd still fuck her, you know what I mean? Like D tier is like legit wouldn't fuck. C tier is like would fuck if B, A, or S ain't down to fuck. Like you know what I'm saying? But B and up, I'd bang like sober, drunk. Any, any situation really. Aurelia. I don't know. Aurelia's okay. She's got like this stoner look on her face or whatever. And I like stoner chicks. And she also has a really nice ass. So I'm gonna throw her in the A tier. She's definitely not S tier, but she, she's pretty sexy. She's And she's definitely like, she's got a little more sex appeal than these two. You know what I mean? Or maybe she doesn't actually. You know what? Actually, I think she kind of goes here with the average girls. Like, she's, you know, she ain't gonna wear a corset for you on Valentine's Day or any of that shit. She's probably gonna buy you a nice cologne and say, where we going to eat, kind of bullshit. Boring. Jan is hot. Enough said. She don't wear nothing. Jinx is just fucking hot. I love Jinx so much. She's probably, like, like my favorite. Like, I, like if I had to actually put the S tiers in a ranking of how I would bang them, it would probably go something like this. Jinx first. Jinx is so hot. She's got, like, that, she's got like that little ballerina fucking body and it's funny because i was talking about like how this uh, kali has small tits but there's something sexy about the way jinx carries herself you know what i mean like her her 
light features are what makes her attractive. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Like, I find her attractive because she doesn't have conventionally attractive female features, but I think that's what makes her sexy. Weird. Kaiza is a dime, like straight up. She's got the nicest ass, she's got a nice pair of tits, this beautiful face. Really not much you can say about it. Callista. Like, what is Callista? I'm gonna just put her in C tier because like, I, nah, you know what, I'm gonna I'm throw her in D tier. Hey, no, she's got a nice face. Like again, it's one of those situations, I'd bang her. I, you know, I'd, I'd fuck. I, is that considered necrophilia? Actually, that might be considered necrophilia. I don't really know her lore. Let's throw her in D tier just to be safe. Karma. This would be a hate fuck. I'm gonna put her in B tier. I would've put her in A tier just because I like, like, um, I, don't, I guess what would you call that, an Indian girl, Middle Eastern woman? I like, like that look. Like, I think it's super sexy. Like she clearly would be an A if I didn't just fucking, if I just didn't have all those horrible PTSD fucking support lane karmas right now hitting me like a fucking truck. She's nine years old. Katarina. Again, I like Katarina. She's got like that uh, aggressive kind of like she could play any role you want in the bedroom sort of thing. And she cosplays. She's got kitty cat outfits. She goes S tier. Man, maybe maybe I gotta like make more A's. Like damn, like you know what? Jinx is hotter than in my opinion than some of my picks. Let's actually do this right. I'm gonna put Ari in A tier. I mean, I like Ari, but I think she's overrated. Evelyn stays. Cassiopeia go in the A tier. I like Janna, but her face is a little eh. Kaiser's sexy as fuck. Katarina could go. I could go either way. That that is a bit better. That's a bit more. Cause honestly, like if somebody said Jinx or Katarina, it's Jinx every time. Kali or uh, Ari or Jinx, it's Jinx every time. Elise or are Elise or Cassio. Yeah, it's Elise every time. These these five right here. Now, let me just, actually. You know, let me just put my S. My, I, this is just because we have a history together. I love Leona. She's tall. She's big. She's thick. She can just do what she wants with me. Uh, let's see who else is S tier in this bitch. <laughs> Syra. Oh my god. Yo. Fucking subdue me in plant life, bro. Please. Miss Fortune is like super hot, but she's like that bitch everybody wants, you know, like Miss like Katarina, she's just that bimbo, you know, it's just, it's easy to put her in S tier because she's so fucking hot, but I mean like, other than being really fucking hot, what makes her S tier, you know what I mean, like these girls all have something special, as a matter of fact, Caitlyn, that's actually a good way to put it, like, you're super sexy and you have something special that you offer me, like she can string me up in plants, she's just a thick sexy bitch that's just gonna have her way with me. I know she wears the pants in sex situations. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, Kai, Kai, Kaiza bro. It's Kaiza. And we, I've already explained these three. Kale. Kale's B. Honestly. She's hot, but she's got like that fucking Seattle bitch haircut. Fuck out of here. It's like a B. And that's actually like, honestly, like if she's like level 1 Kale with the helmet, it's a C. Like, I can't wait for her to level up 11 times to get that ugly shit off. Kindred. Kindred low-key sexy. That's right. I'm a furry. Will the wolf watch? LeBlanc, again, just a very sexy bimbo that just goes in A tier because it's like, she's fucking fine. It's gonna be crazy, but maybe you won't agree with me. Lux going in the B tier, straight up. She's just a classic blue-eyed, blonde-haired bimbo. Boring. So, uh... Vayne. There's so many hot chicks in this game. vane has got like... Vayne is not hotter than Misfortune. You know what I mean? So, as much as I thought, eh, but nah. Nah, she don't go there. Matter of fact, Kindred don't go there either. Fucking a weird sheep lady would be hot, but it wouldn't be hotter than fucking Misfortune or Ari. Still low-key hot though, don't worry baby. Sandra. I don't know, it's not that she's not attractive, it's just that I'm not into it. I don't know. She go in the C tier. Again, I'd fuck her if this was the last resort. Tilly is only 16, so she goes there. Not to mention she's got ugly ass eyebrows and big nose. Zoe is... Uh, I know she's a cosmic being with no age, but she's actually not cute. Look at that ugly face. She barely has a nose. She's fucking creepy looking. Nika. I, I fucking I love Nika. But nah. She goes in the A tier. Because again, she could be anybody on the list that I want. And then some. And not to mention just like wasn't wouldn't it be fun to like hold the tail up and stick your thumb in her ass while you're fucking her? Like, ooh. Little cute. Little cute. Morgana. Mmm, man. You know, like, Morgana's delicious, but, like, except for, like, that purple skin, like, she's pretty much just a regular sexy bombshell like Miss Fortune and the rest of them. I'll put her in the A tier. Probably kind of cute. Just not a kind of cute. Yeah, you, you are all, all the yodels are going in C tier. Actually, Tristana might be a really good fuck just because she's crazy. Throw her in B tier. Sejuani? Like, she could go in C tier only if we could fuck on the pig. 
So I'm going to throw that up there like that. Just assuming that she'd be... I mean, she doesn't look like she gets much dick anyway. So we're going to assume that she'd be about that life. But like, let's fuck on the pig, baby girl. She'd be like, yeah, let's do it. Rek'Sai... Could be interesting, but I'd rather not. But I, it's one of those things where I'd like to find out. Shivana could turn into a dragon. That easily puts her... In, like, I don't find her attractive, but like... I don't know how I'd fuck you in your dragon form, but I'd figure out a way. Same thing with Nidalee, but Nidalee, in my opinion, is more attractive. So she's gonna go in an A tier. Like, you know, turn into a cat and, like, ravage me while I'm fucking you or some weird shit. That'd be pretty dope. Lick my asshole with that weird sandpaper tongue that cats have. I don't really have much love for Ariana. She has, like, a weird walk, you know what I mean? She's, like, pigeon-footed in the game. I don't know. I don't find her attractive. Even if she was, like, a human. Maybe if she was a human, I'd find her attractive. I don't know. I just... I imagine fucking a robot would be cold and uncomfortable. It would probably hurt to pound against its ass. It's metal ass. Quinn. Look at Quinn's, like, legit constant resting bitch face. You think I want to put up with that bullshit? That's the kind of cunt that she has where she wants to go to eat and she never has a fucking answer. I want to say Riven's average, but like... And she does have the bunny costume. I like Riven. She's alright. I'll give her the dick. Soraka. S tier, clearly. Has goat feet. Completely fucking weird, has a horn. Can do all sorts of prostate massage things with that thing. She goes S tier. Nami. I love mermaids, they're really hot. And she's got really nice tits. And I like I wanna put her in S tier, but like, I don't like her like that, you know. But I do like her a lot. She's definitely going to A tier. Sivir is sexy, but again, kinda plain. You know, she's an old champ. Doesn't really have much going for it design wise. She, I like her outfit, she's pretty sexy, but again, it's, you know, eh, I'd rather fuck somebody in the A tier. You know, these people have more to offer than. I, that's actually a good way. Like, the B tier is probably just as sexy as the A tier, but the A tier chicks have, like, more to offer, I guess you could say. Like, Kali, you know, like, she's a ninja. Fuck, actually, no, fuck out of here. Kali, you go in the B tier, dude. All these chicks got something to offer. I mean, and, well, okay, some of them are just super sexy. Like, this fortune. Katarina and Caitlyn, but like, well, like her, we could easily have a three-way with LeBlanc. Nico transforms. Morgana's just creepy. She turns into a cat. She's a fucking fish. She's a fucking fox thing, snake. It's Diana. You know she's gonna peg the shit out that ass. Syndra. Eh. Go either way. Um, Vi is totally a low-key lesbian. And... I don't know what, like, Rakan could do better, in my opinion. Zaya's got that ugly nose ring. Her haircut is eh. She's got those weird bird feet. Actually, you know what? A foot job from Zaya might be interesting. So just for that, she get a B tier. <laughs> but, I mean, like, I would rather not fuck Zaya just because, I don't know. But, I mean, a talent hand job, a foot job could be kind of sick. You know what I'm This is the average D. Cassiopeia in C tier? Come on, who doesn't want to fuck a snake? And again, you know, probably some people are saying, well, who doesn't want to fuck a robot? When I said I didn't want to fuck a robot, so I mean, there's that. Where are people getting this Sejuani thing? And yo, know, Jinx needs to be way higher on this. Like, she's got like. Mm, no, I ain't, even, I ain't even gonna go there. Elise needs to be higher. Nami needs to be higher. Zyra needs to be higher. Like, do, do people not realize that Zyra is, like, literally Poison Ivy? Like, does anybody not realize how hot Poison Ivy is? Okay, I'm fucking done. I'm out of here. Shit got me upset.